In this video, I'll go through a comparison of ActiveCampaign versus MailChimp to help you decide which email marketing platform and marketing automation platform is best for you and your business. I'm Jason, growth specialist at WildMail, where we help make ActiveCampaign even better for your based businesses. Let's check it out. So before we get started, just a bit of context. It's no secret that we are one of the top resellers of Active Campaign in the world. Uh, we mentioned that we resell the, the software in every one of our videos. But in this video, our goal is to help you make an educated decision based on which will help you overcome your current challenges, current pain points, and reach the goals that you have set for your business uh, with one of these two uh, platforms. So. With that being said, we'll jump right in uh, and we're not going to go over every little feature of each platform and that would take much too long, but we're going to go over the key uh, factors that might push you towards one or the other. So first to go over the pros and cons of each platform, we'll start with MailChimp and the pros of MailChimp are that it is easy to use. It has a user friendly interface uh, and that's because it's a pretty simple tool uh, in comparison to active campaign. What's in terms of what it's capable of. Um, it has affordable pricing plans for small businesses. Um, so if you're you know, just starting out on a budget and you need to decide based on having zero budget, um, this could be an option for you. Um, and then the cons, limited automation and segmentation capabilities, no CRM or sales automation features. We'll go over each one of these features. I'll, I'll break down these main differences between the two platforms. Um, but it is true that they don't have a true sales CRM with pipeline and deals feature like an active campaign. So if you have a sales team, uh, you're going to end up, you know, integrating with something else. Whereas this can all be done inside active campaign, which I'll show you. Now, the main con of active campaign uh, is that some users may find the interface overwhelming. So I can show you quickly. Uh, this here is your main dashboard for MailChimp. Pretty simple and straightforward. You have all your options over here campaigns, audience, automations, analytics, website, etc. And then here is your main dashboard for active campaign through our reseller program at wild mail. Uh, and this is customizable. You can click and drag to, uh, you can eliminate these boxes to only show the information that you want to see in your main dashboard. And you can see recent activity for your contacts as well over here for your contacts as well over here to the right easily create campaigns, add contacts, deals, uh, or lists. And then you've got all of your options over here. Uh, and when I click in, for example, to uh, automations, you can see if I hover over this, I'll have an additional navigation bar and you'll have that for each one of these features over in the side. Uh, because customization, uh, personalization, all of that, uh, you know, those are priorities inside Active Campaign, and so you'll have additional features to manage that. And we'll dive in a little bit deeper uh, into that in just a second. So for, you know, beginners uh, or if you're a one person team, maybe you'll find the, the interface a bit overwhelming. Uh, but the pros of Active Campaign are that, you know, we are uh, using all of these features, this, this um, uh, perceived complexity in the beginning, uh, which by the way, you can overcome with support from ourselves if you're one of our customers or uh, through the help docs at Active Campaign. Um, the goal is CXA, customer experience automation, and we want to treat every customer like our most important, whether you have 10 or 10 million. And it's these features that allow that to be possible inside uh, Active Campaign across email marketing, marketing automation, the sales CRM, and account management for your support team as well. And across all of these different uh, departments, sales, marketing, and uh, support, we're going to break down the walls between those inside Active Campaign and allow them to share the same information on about each contact, each contact's engagement. Uh, so we're not just grouping by general lists, and we're not uh, working with separate information or separate platforms. We have everything in one spot, uh, tight feedback loops between the teams to help, help create a better experience overall for our uh, customers and for your audience. Active Campaign has strong email marketing capabilities. Um, everything that you can do in MailChimp, you can do in Active Campaign. There's no limitation on that uh, and, and then some, right? And then on top of that, additional personalization, uh, et cetera, everything that we're about to go over. It has uh, robust automation features. And I'll show you an example of that here. Um, this is just not uh, possible with MailChimp. Uh, this right here is our behavior-based pitching automation. 
So we've built this out. Uh, we have lead scoring. MailChimp's lead scoring is pretty basic. If I go to our contacts, and we'll just have my demo contact here. You can see the stars, and this just indicates you know their engagement with your brand. That's pretty much all you get. Whereas uh, inside Active Campaign, we can create uh, lead scoring for engagement, and we can add or subtract points based on how that specific contact engages with our brand. So if they click a link, uh, if they open emails, if they reply to emails, if they visit pages on our website, we can add additional points. Um, and then when they reach a certain amount here, like 140, we can trigger the sending of an email. Uh, it's very personal, very conversational, and it looks like it came from one of our own personal emails. And it says basically, you know, um, hey, we noticed that you're very engaged with our uh, brand, our business. We'd love to jump on a quick call to see if product X might be a good fit for you. Uh, and all of that is possible with the automation inside Active Campaign, whereas here uh, you can see, you know, um, the automations that are available to you here. If I go to pre-built journeys, here's what you've got for pre-built journeys inside MailChimp. Uh, and if I go to one, let's see, welcome contacts who describe via a form. This is what it looks like, right? It's top, it's just a straight line, top to bottom, contact signs up, send email, wait, send email, and then that's it. Now, you also notice with uh, in terms of automation, for the amount of pre-built journeys that you have available to you inside MailChimp, um, that's it right there. And if I go to Active Campaigns Marketplace for automation, you have, uh, let's see, 50 pages of pre-built automation recipes that you can you know, use to plug and play and get yourself started. Uh, you can really automate anything. Uh, it's not just for email. You can uh, automate internal tasks, automate nurturing, onboarding, um, automate deal updates for your sales team. So uh, a bit more powerful in that regard. Um, it has a ton of integrations with a, a wide range of apps and services. If I go into Active Campaign again and go down to apps, you can see here all of the different apps that integrate with Active Campaign. So it's sure to have you know the, the platform that you're using or a way to connect with it. Advanced segmentation and targeting options. So I showed you the behavior-based pitching. You can really dial in when we want to send certain messages. Uh, again, that's the name of the game for marketing, sending the right message at the right time to the right person for enhanced relevancy in our marketing. Uh, but you can also, when you're creating, for example, these conditions inside uh, your automation, if I choose if else, you can get very, very granular about whether or not uh, they have opened certain emails, have been sent, have clicked on certain links, if they've shared things to their social uh, to reward them for that. Uh, you can even look at, or on the e-com side, for example, the last product name or last product category, whether or not they have an abandoned cart. This is super useful uh, for last product category. And you can use this for things like upselling and cross-selling based on their past uh, you know, behavior, their past purchase behavior. Uh, and all of that information gets pulled into your contact profile in Active Campaign. So going into my demo contact here, all of this information you can use to segment when you send out your emails, um, the different tags. This here, interested in shoes. This came from our uh, demo Shopify store because I was looking at a, a page, you know, and was interested in uh, shoes. And we've got specific a custom object, a specific custom object here for Shopify and e-commerce activity. I can see, you know, when it was completed, uh, when they've completed their purchases, when they've abandoned purchases. Same with Calendly. All of this information is available, um, as well as their recent activity feed inside the contact profile in Active Campaign. Whereas, uh, you know, in Mailchimp, if I go to the contacts this is all you're getting here so it's um you know quite simple um but that has its you know drawbacks uh, it doesn't give you a, necessarily a full picture of that contact based they're more focused on um you know uh, uh grouping their crm by uh, lists whereas in active campaign it's it's uh by the contact themselves we can still organize by lists, but we want a more detailed uh, picture of each contact 
so that we can give them a more personalized experience, you know, in their email marketing. Um, and if I go now back to this list, uh, I'll just recap kind of what we've gone over for Active Campaign versus MailChimp. Uh, contact management. So in MailChimp, again, uh, very limited in terms of the information you'll get. It's simpler if you value, you know, simplicity. Um, but again, that may have its drawbacks for you and your team. And if personalization and customization is a priority for you, this may not be what you are looking for. However, if you're just starting out, this, this could be helpful. And again, MailChimp is more focused on larger segments, grouping in, in larger uh, segments in order to send out messages that aren't exactly uh, targeted like someone who has you know, engaged a certain amount like this and has a certain lead score based on that specific context engagement with your brand. It's more just general interest-based uh, segmenting. The campaign designer. So both of them have pretty intuitive uh, email designers. If I go to create regular email and we could just choose their new builder and you'll see drag and drop, drag and drop. Same with uh, Active Campaign. It also has a drag and drop email builder, which you can see here. This is the, the classic builder. There is a newer builder in Active Campaign as well, but you can see I can drag, drop, move it around as well. Uh, very simple to, to use and update and edit. But one thing that's possible in Active Campaign is dynamic content. Uh, and you can, for example, show content in each email. So you write one email, but the content that you show uh, is specific to that contact and the behaviors that they've taken or tags that they have. So in this case, uh, we're showing 70% off skateboards and I can make a conditional and I can say uh, the category of the last product purchased is skateboards. Okay. And so now, If I hover over this, it'll only show if e-commerce category of last product purchase is skateboards. We can do the same with shoes. Uh, if someone has already bought and we know what they're interested in, we can show them similar products. If we wanted to, we could switch this out and say someone who has bought skate shoes, show them the 70% off for skateboards so that we can uh, cross sell. Uh, if someone has bought uh, you know, paints and a paintbrush, we can, uh, figure that out here based on their last um, purchases and then show them lessons for painting and now we're upselling. So all of that is possible uh, dynamically inside of Active Campaign. So that is the campaign designer. Marketing automation we've been over. Um, it's just much, much more powerful in Active Campaign. I showed you the behavior based pitching automation here. Uh, and it, this is a, a drag and drop builder. It's visual, very intuitive as well, uh, and very simple to use. And then finally, a real CRM to manage sales. And I haven't gone over this yet. Uh, there's nothing in MailChimp to compare this to, but inside Active Campaign, if I go to deals over here, you'll see here that we have a pipeline. Uh, it's very simple for ourselves right now because we're uh, pretty active manually in uh, reviewing each deal and engaging with each deal but you can see it's drag and drop these are different stages i can add a new stage but when we've engaged with someone uh, we started the conversation they go into this this first stage uh, when they've you know completed a call with us they go into this stage you can easily uh, move the contacts manually you can also automate all of this uh, here in automations and if i click into a deal a test deal here this is a specific instance of this main contact, which I've shown you before. And now they are a qualified lead. They're into our pipeline. Um, they're assigned to a deal owner. So someone on our sales team, we can forecast the close date, et cetera. Uh, and this is all the additional information you'll see. You can add notes to the deal, add tasks. So for follow-up, and this can all be automated as well. Whenever someone books a call in Calendly, we can, uh, you know, set up an automation that'll move their stage to call uh, booked and then call completed. We can automate uh, tasks. So when they've booked a call, we can add an additional task automatically inside our uh, automation. So I can just show you how easy it is to, to set this up. Uh, you just choose a trigger and I can go to 
apps, Calendly, new event is created. And then from here, conditions and workflow, wait, wait blocks. Um, I can go here and all of this is available as actions for the CRM. I can add a deal now, give it the title, the value, choose the correct pipeline, the stage that they're in, and assign it to an owner or uh, set this up automated uh, for round robin distribution. So um, this is something that you know helps align all of our teams because our marketing team can see this information, our sales team sees this information, and support can come in and also view uh, the recent activity, uh, how our sales team has engaged with this contact, and the other actions that they've taken with our marketing communications. And now we've got all our teams you know, aligned uh, per contact. So that helps us provide a better experience. Um, and so that was contact management, uh, the campaign designer, marketing automation, and uh, a real CRM to manage sales for active campaign. So in conclusion, uh, just to wrap this up, MailChimp is a fine choice. If you're looking for simple one-off emails, uh, but you really can't get true customer engagement by sending your customers the exact same messages. Even if you bucket and segment um, you know, by um, larger groups, uh, it's still not going to be as personalized as what you can accomplish in Active Campaign. If you have zero budget, you're just getting started, you're making decisions more based on this budget versus the experience you, you want your uh, audience to have, uh, MailChimp can be a good uh, starting point for you. You will likely hit a ceiling, uh, whereas Active Campaign, you can achieve everything that you are doing in MailChimp, uh, and then it'll grow with you as your business grows. And if you just want a simple email experience, you're again, not focused on personalizing the experience too much for your audience, just basic uh, personalization and customization, MailChimp may, may be a good choice for you. Now, Active Campaign is going to give you advanced segmentation, uh, smarter automation, and the sales CRM to help you manage those relationships so they don't fall through the cracks. If you have a sales team, uh, your decision is already made essentially because there's nothing that's going to allow you to manage your relationships with your, your leads in the same way that the deals feature and the pipe sales CRM pipeline in Active Campaign does. Um, Active Campaign is the option we choose because of the stronger email marketing and automation capabilities, uh, wider range of integrations, which helps us. Uh, you know, we had a course platform in the, in the past that we needed to integrate with uh, easily, and advanced segmentation and targeting options. If you're interested in automation beyond just email, uh, you'll have other channels available to you with Active Campaign as well. So uh, SMS is possible. Uh, they have a conversation, a chat feature as well, and easily. You can easily integrate with um, other platforms to, to reach your uh, customers on those channels and pull in their engagement and data from those channels into their profile. And you prioritize customization and personalization. Uh, you want your email marketing tool to manage per contact with a more detailed profile of each contact and their engagement, uh, which I showed you, you know, throughout this, this video, um, not just these uh, larger lists uh, or larger groups of uh, contacts. You want to get a bit more granular with your targeting uh, and your personalization. Active campaign may be a better choice for you. And then finally, um, just to reiterate, if you have a sales team, uh, the deal CRM is going to help you out uh, immensely. Keep your you know pipeline, your CRM organized uh, and help align all of your uh, different teams, sales, marketing, and support. So if you have any questions about these two platforms, uh, if you want to chat with us and see if Active Campaign might be a good fit for you, uh, you can just drop those questions in the comments below. We'd be happy to answer them for you.